Okay, welcome to another video, and this one's going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to run through the DOSBox settings that I decided to use for Wing Commander 3. So I'm doing this a little bit out of order, but you know, I'm, I'll basically upload this before everything. But one of the things I had to do is I actually had to play a couple of missions and figure out what the ideal settings were in DOSBox. So anyway, once again with, with GOG, if you're using the Galaxy client, this is the path that your um, game will be installed in by default. So another thing I want to also bring up is my current system specs to kind of give you a, a comparison basically to let you know why I'm using it with this system. So if you have a slower CPU, you might want to you know, up your CPU cycles or if your CPU is extremely fast because I do have a fairly older uh, CPU, you might want to lower the, the CPU cycles. So this is what I'm running. I'm just running a, an Intel Core i7 at about 3.5 gigs with 8 gigs memory. You know, pretty uh, cutting edge about 7, 8 years ago, <laughs> something like that. It's, it's kind of old, but you know what? It gets the job done. So here's the uh, Wing Commander 3 config. And I'll kind of just show you some of the, the changes I noticed that they did from the default there with, when GOG installs it for you. So the main thing I did here, of course, is I changed the full resolution to match my monitor once again, which is a 1080p monitor. By default, they use direct draw for the output mode, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep that. I played around with the different... Um, I played around with OpenGL, OpenGL 9 Millennial, played an overlay, I've tried using all of those mostly to try and, and work with the uh, video flickering issue that you sometimes come across, and it didn't seem to make any real difference, unfortunately. So I just leave, left it at direct draw. That's pretty much the same. Once again, aspect ratio true. Scalar normal three times, so it will still be pretty close to the original game as far as that's concerned. Now this, of course, is where I made my big change is in the CPU area. So I changed the core to dynamic, and the cycles, I noticed if I set it to fixed cycles of 100,000, that seems to be best for the video performance because if it's too fast and I believe before what they had it set to by default was max so if I had it set to 150,000 sometimes you get this crackling sound like this the sound just starts to cut out a little bit and that's kind of annoying to me so putting at 100,000 seems to work pretty good to keep the sound quality consistent the only issue I think I've noticed is when you're sitting on the deck getting ready to launch, for me it says the uh, frames, frame rate is about 17 frames per second. And so if I use Control F12 to bump it up to 150, that takes it up to the, the frame rate of 24 frames per second, which is pretty consistent. Having said that, after you launch and get out of the, um, out of the hangar, everything kind of goes back to a frame rate of 24 anyway so it's kind of a give or take really you could uh, just bump up the uh, the cycles 50,000 once you're sitting there in the uh, the hangar or you can just leave it at 100,000 which is what I'm pretty much going to try to do from now on because I think that seems to be the most balanced approach but if you do want to up it perhaps changing the cycle up or down to 10,000 instead of 1,000 by default, maybe something you want to do. And the rest of this is pretty, you know, standard like with all my other Wing Commander videos. I changed the sound rate to 48,000 and then I pointed my MIDI config to 1. In this case, I'm using my uh, Roland SC88VL to do the MIDI uh, playback. Uh, theoretically, Pretty much any computer nowadays can use general MIDI. It's really up to your own preference on that. And one of the things that this game can do is it can 
work with MT32, Roland MT32 sound as well. So I may give that a try later, or I wouldn't say give it a try, but do a comparison between MT32 and my SC88 and see which one sounds better. I mean, I assume the SC88 is just going to sound way better, but it might be interesting just to do that little quick comparison to see who sounds like what, basically. But if you want to use a MIDI device, set your MIDI config to 1. Other than that, Sound Blaster, set that to 48,000 on the OPL rate again. Skip, skip, and then the joystick type I set to FCS for Thrustmaster, and that's pretty much the only changes I did. Um, but yes, I think the, the most important setting for everything really comes down to this CPU setting. That Changing that cycles to a fixed rate will probably resolve most issues you may have with either the crackling sound or, or things of that nature. Other than that, I haven't had too many tweaks I had to do to the game to get it to run properly. So this seems to work for me. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll speak to y'all later.